Yes. Um, this is Nathaniel. And as I promised in my last video, I'll be talking about how to write um, a clinical case report. A clinical case report. Now, this is different from a clinical case study. This is different from a case study or a case study. Okay, the case study is much more detailed. Okay. And before we move on, if, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, just subscribe. I have great stuff coming on. Okay, so you just subscribe. And when you subscribe to, um, um, it just alerts you of any new video that I may post. Okay. Now let's move straight forward into the clinical case report. Okay. Now a case report is a brief report about a condition or a case. Okay. So let's move right into it. So here, case number. So you just write um, case one. So this is the, the first case. Okay or case two if it's the second case okay let's move on and the patient's name the ward the folder number date of admission you get all this information in the patient's folder or even the nurse's notes now let's move on to these three important um, points to note okay brief description of um case experience and the last is the rule okay so this is the format this is the format for um, a clinical case reports. And um, I promise you that this video won't take long, like seven minutes or less. Okay, so let's move on with the, with the first one, brief description of case. So here you just describe the case briefly. Just as I've said, a clinical case report, it's, it's just a brief statement. Okay, so here you can talk about the diagnosis. What is the diagnosis of the patient? Okay. The patient complains. So what was the chief complaint of the patient? The past medical, surgical, obstetric history. So any history at all that you can get from the patient, you can write at this segment. You can write at this segment. Okay. Lab tests. Any lab tests too, you can talk about lab tests. Vital signs. You can also talk about vital signs. If it is a surgical case, you can also state the type of surgery and give um, a brief statement. So you can talk about items for the procedure, etc. Okay, with the vital signs, you don't just write, you can write all of the, um, the things you checked, okay? Or you can write the, um, the ones that were very odd. Okay, the ones that were very odd. Okay, now let's move quickly to the experience. So experience, you talk about what you learned from the case. So maybe you got to um, learn new stuff. Okay, what skills did you also learn? Maybe new skills, etc. And now what understanding did you get? What rationale? Maybe they did something. A procedure was performed and um, the nurse in charge or the doctor um, told you the rationale behind whatever he or she did okay now the rules this is what this is where you talk about what you actually did okay so you can talk about um the works you assisted in or you actually did okay and also you talk about um here you can talk about drug administration history taking um any care that you gave preoperatively postoperatively education etc just anything maybe bed bath um you name it okay so that's that with um, um a brief description of the clinical case report so the main components are just brief description of the case experiences and the rule i hope you get me okay now i have a sample of a brief description of the case there we end here i know the experiences and the rules are easy if you just go by these simple guidelines you just get it very easy okay now i have a brief description of the of the case here and this case looks surgical okay now a 21 year old patient so this is how you should go by okay um and it's not a traditional something you can change it it's not very traditional it's um amenable okay a 21 year old patient was admitted to the hospital so you are given a um a brief history here okay and the um, patient rides a motorcycle to work. Patient rides a motorcycle to work. Okay. And this is very relevant to our case because we might an anticipate an accident, etc. Okay. So on the 4th of um, May 2021, he had 
an accident. So the patient was involved in a car accident. So this is just a history. This is just a history. Remember, we talk about past uh, medical, surgical, obstetric history, etc. He had an open wound. So upon your assessment, so you saw that there was this um, open wound and it was at the abdominal region. Okay. The x-ray, so this is the labs, the x-rays, etc. Now the x-ray was able to review an incomplete fracture of the 7th and 8th um, rib. 7th and 8th rib. Okay. You also talk about other lab. Um, hematological reports reviewed low levels of RBCs and WBCs. Okay. Now, this is the part that was, I was talking about, the vital signs. The patient's temperature is low. So you hear um, the person decided to talk about the most relevant vitals. Okay. So the temperature is low and the BP is fluctuating. Okay, so that's um, someone's brief description of a surgical case. So it's very easy. Just follow these guidelines and you are good to go. Thank you. Very okay, lest I forget, um, I will leave out my email um, account. And if you need a sample of these clinical case reports, you just um, message me via email and then you receive it. Thank you.